Spirit of God says, do you hear the sound of the trumpet? Do you hear the sound of the victory? Do you hear the sound of the trumpet that blows in Zion? Do you hear the sound of the trumpet that shall blow in the Middle East? Hear the word of the Lord today. The trumpet of God is sounding throughout the earth. They have tried to silence the voice of God and the voice of the prophets. But the sound of the trumpet shall be heard. that it is a righteous person and a Christian that shall do this no for it was Cyrus who did it and he was my servant and my people went back to freedom I am not going to use this president and I'm not going to use this administration to bring freedom to Israel guess what I'm going to give Israel their enemies and for a season their enemies will become their friends and their friends will protect them for Israel shall not go under but yet Iran shall get an idea and they shall say let us blast and destroy the God that they worship or this is the place that they worship and when they do that they shall get another idea let us turn towards the United States of America shall we destroy them shall we blow them up but God said because of my saints and because of the saints of the Most High God they shall not for suddenly North Korea shall rise up and they shall begin to get angry with Iran and there shall be a fight that shall go on between North Korea Korea and Iran and God said they shall begin to implode from within therefore hear me today from this den I am speaking says the Lord you shall be kept safe because of me says the Spirit of God as the Spirit of God came upon me to speak I'm aware, and I do not exaggerate, that ISIS has already looked at us. For there is too much going through the net and the cloud. And so I will, I will serve them notice, says the Lord. I will keep you. But is it time? for me to expose and to reveal in a darkness within the intelligences of this world I begin today says the Lord I will begin today to expose the intelligences and the things that they have hidden and the things that they have lied about for there is a great corruption in Geneva there is a great corruption in Switzerland there is a great corruption in Europe says the Lord I will yet take uh, the pens of the United Nations and pull it down and expose them for what they have done for what they have done you don't even know about says the Lord what they have done says the Lord is they have stood against my people they've stood against Israel they've stood against my land they've said they stood against the people of Christ the Christos the people of my calling the people of my light and because they've done it I have not stood back says the Lord I now will arise and I will reveal what has happened to the jet I will reveal why this is taking place for the enemy has desired Isis has desired to take the jets and to come into the United States of America but they have not been able to do it and so they have come in slowly and they have corrupt co corrupt in they are even in California right now and they have proposed to do certain things 
things on the television so that they will grab a hold of a network and they'll be able to do something. God said, this is no small thing, but hear me out. I have watched them and I have said, enough is enough. I will use my prophets and I will use my priests to raise up a voice and to make a sound. Mashu Gale. Mashu Gale is a name that I'm hearing. Mashu Gale. Hidden away, but shall be exposed. Jihadi John, who is he? Nothing but someone fit to be plucked. There are colors that I see. There are colors that I see. A maroon color with a diamond, a triangle. This group has already clothed themselves. And there is a man that has stood within them who said we will cripple the nations. You will look and say, is this the one that fooled the nations? Is this the one that had the nations petrified? For God said light shall shine from nations that are in obscurity now. From Ukraine, light shall shine and I will defend that nation. And light shall shine, says the Lord, from Estonia. And they shall say, but they the troublemakers and I will take a little, little child-like nation to bring to its knees Russia. This man who has stood and said, I will create the most formidable, exquisite terrorist group on earth shall be exposed. But I what fear would instilled in you by the media that paints the pictures of doom gloom the prognosticators of this time and they say how shall we rid ourselves of ISIS and pacts made with Iran our enemies give me a cell phone Spirit of God says this will do it. This tiny instrument that people use every second. I shall do something that shall expose what is taking place in Iran, Iraq, throughout the Middle East, but Iran specifically. There shall be an exposure and they shall say such a tiny thing brought the truth out and such a tiny thing brought down that which was supposed to be upright and yet they are presently at this very moment packing together with Russia and laughing at this president and laughing at this nation God says I will have the last laugh why? Because as I have said throughout the summer, there shall be one exposure after the other. For it shall come to pass that I will expose. For Russia has joined its hands to Iran, Syria, and is gathering as many nations as possible to come and strike the Jews and to strike at this Christian nation and cause you to be crippled, says the Lord. Therefore, would you like an answer? I'll show you. And then God says, as they creep nearer, I will expose them and destroy them beneath the sea, on top of the sea, on the land, and in the air, says the Lord. He said, Kim, the people are praying for North Korea, Iran, China. Yet the church is growing in China faster than anywhere else in the world. Yet the church in Iran, underneath is greater than the church in the West. No, this nation needs revival. God says they have died and said the naturalism, the naturalism, secular humanism, I'm exposing them one minute at a time. And even as you have seen the truth about the little children that are being destroyed and how they laugh about it, God said, today I show you that I'm about to pour upon my people those who have given, those who have sowed, and those who have stood the test of time, I'm about to pour upon them unimaginable favor, says the Spirit of God.
I will heal bodies like I've never healed before. I will raise even the dead as they have said it cannot happen. I will do signs and wonders, not signs and blunders, but signs and wonders, says the Lord. As this earth has never seen, I will begin in China. Then I will move through Iran and the Middle East. And then I shall flame this country again under the leadership of a righteous president, says the Lord. Now, out of the bitter came something sweet. It's difficult for people to comprehend this because our, of our prejudices, our bigotry, our, and the general influence of our, of our, on, our, on our opinions from secular news media and even religious leaders. Before actually tasting the sweetness, I was overwhelmed by a strong presence of hatred and bitterness permeating from the citizens of the United States of America. When I sensed this, I sensed I was literally tasting the bitterness not that would only come but that is present and God was so grieved because this was not just believers uh, unbelievers these were believers as well I could sense this coming from unbelievers and believers so much so that I sensed God was severely grieved that politics and and the economy and the news media has put us in a position where we are completely corrupted in our hearts and bitterness is coming forth instead of praying prophetically, calling out to God. A lone shepherd voice of Moses. And that voice was heard throughout Egypt. And it came to Pharaoh. Let my people go. Let my people go. This has been cried through the centuries. And again, there shall be lone voices that will cry out throughout the earth, Let my people go! Just enter with me. 